This video is brought to you by Captivating History. L.P. Hartley famously said, The past is a foreign country. They do things differently there. The role of the historian is to make it less alienating to tourists like us. However, nothing can make us feel more comfortable with the realities of the past than a well-crafted movie. Movies are not well known for their realism, and history buffs love to point out the many inaccuracies that dog historically said Hollywood blockbusters. However, nothing quite brings a time and a place to life like a good movie. It is a difficult feat to produce a genuinely entertaining movie while maintaining adequate historical accuracy. However, the viewer can gain visceral insights into history that books and articles cannot provide when it happens. The following is a list of movies that combine the immediacy of the big screen with a feel for history. Lincoln The life and legacy of the 16th president are far too loaded and complex to be captured in a single movie. An attempt to analyze his life and times would come off as a series of superficial visual vignettes. Master storyteller Steven Spielberg overcame this problem by focusing on a signature episode in his presidency and legacy. The film follows the president's successful attempt to pass the 13th Amendment to the Constitution through the House of Representatives. Of course, the 13th Amendment deserves its own movie, as it was the legislative tool by which the United States legally abolished slavery and involuntary servitude. The film also offers the budding historian an unparalleled glimpse at the man who is arguably the greatest president the country ever had. Every superlative in the English language has been used to describe the performance of Daniel Day-Lewis in Lincoln, and he deserves every single one. Watching the Irish virtuoso fully inhabit Lincoln's lanky body is as close as we will come to observing Honest Abe. Lawrence of Arabia The common wisdom regarding the conflict in the Middle East is that ethnic and religious hatreds have haunted it from time immemorial. This unfortunate reality, we are told, explains the constant bloodshed in the cradle of human civilization. However, the truth is that leaders created the region's current problems at a specific time, and unique circumstances prescribe the decisions. Lawrence of Arabia captures that moment in spectacular Panavision technology. The inimitable Peter O'Toole plays T.E. Lawrence, a British officer charged with fostering the Arab revolt against Ottoman rule. The film is not known for its unerring historical inaccuracy. In addition, the casting of Alec Guinness as the Hashemite Prince Faisal would not pass muster in the current culturally sensitive climate. Nonetheless, the majestic scope of the Academy Award winner cannot be denied. It beautifully recreates the chaotic atmosphere in which most of the most critical decisions in the annals of this troubled region were made. The King's Speech the Battle of Britain has a unique place in Anglo-Saxon mythology. It was indeed a remarkable moment when the United Kingdom stood almost alone as a bulwark against Nazi expansionism. Many movies have attempted to capture this moment of epic national bravery. However, none have succeeded in providing it with the King's speech tender humanity and historical accuracy. Rather than focus on the aerial battles or the soaring rhetoric of Winston Churchill, David Seidler's touching script focuses on King George VI. The king was a bashful man with a debilitating stutter, called upon by a trick of fate to leave Britain at its most vulnerable. George's elder brother, Edward VIII, abdicated the throne in 1936 to marry American divorcee Wallace Simpson. The movie focuses on the relationship between the king, played by Colin Firth, and his speech therapist, portrayed sensitively by Geoffrey Rush. King George VI's ultimate ability to overcome his speech impediment allowed the brave king to inspire the nation to defy evil for just a bit longer. 12 Years a Slave Few mainstream Hollywood films dared to tackle slavery head-on before the release of 12 Years a Slave in 2013. Additionally, many of the movies that tackled the uneasy issues of race relations in America did so from the perspective of white people. As a result, movies about racial inequity starring Caucasians are disparagingly and correctly labeled white savior movies. Twelve Years a Slave elegantly avoids these pitfalls. The script is an adaptation of the autobiographical book of the same name by Solomon Northrup. Solomon lived in New York with his family, where slavery was illegal. 
However, he was lured to the South on a false premise and sold into slavery. So began the tragic saga of 12 years of slavery for an individual who had tasted freedom. As such, it is rife with the visceral realities of slavery as practiced in the United States. As a result, it provides viewers with an unpleasant but unquestionably necessary intuitive documentation of the realities of human life under conditions unworthy of chattel. Trumbo The relatively little-known biopic of American scriptwriter Dalton Trumbo is essential viewing. Trumbo, one of the most brilliant minds in early Cold War Hollywood, is played by Brian Cranston. Despite writing highly successful scripts such as Roman Holiday, Trumbo is blacklisted by Hollywood Studios due to alleged ties to the American Communist Party. However, he overcomes the ban and writes the massively successful Spartacus and Exodus movies. The film is indispensable for several reasons. First, it portrays how geopolitical struggles, such as the Cold War, wreak havoc on the lives of regular people and families. Second, but just as importantly, it shows how ideology and politics shape Hollywood mythmaking at its source. Finally, the movie provides a stark look at hypocrisy's role in politics and entertainment. On the Basis of Sex Ruth Bader Ginsburg has become a pop feminist icon, but it is worth remembering that she earned her fame the hard way. After all, being a fierce icon for gender progress wasn't always cool. Despite her brilliance, Ginsburg was unable to obtain work at a law firm after graduating, so instead she taught law and studied discrimination based on gender. In 1970, the future Supreme Court justice took a case whereby a man was denied a nursing tax deduction because of his sex. Ginsburg used this case as a cudgel to challenge all gender-based discrimination in the United States. The film has its flaws, occasionally falling into the trap of turning its impressive heroine into a veritable superhero. But these are the traditional failings of the biopic genre. What makes this movie remarkable is its accurate and staggering portrayal of the obstacles Ginsburg faced in the recent past. The film is an essential reminder of the apparatus which legally denied equality between the sexes as late as the 1970s. The Lives of Others When we look at today's modern capitalist and united Germany, it is hard to imagine how a dictatorial communist regime governed half the country for decades. The Lives of Others dispels the mystery behind this strange regime. Moreover, it sheds light on the petty human fallacies that serve as grist for the mill of totalitarianism. In the movie, a playwright is bugged and followed by the Stasi, the state security apparatus of the German Democratic Republic. Ostensibly, the order was given because the suspect is an enemy of the state. However, the real motive is far more prosaic. The Minister of Culture wishes to besmirch the playwright to win over his romantic partner. The film's subtlety is at odds with the overblown Hollywood style of depicting historical events, or anything else for that matter. While American movies tend to portray history as a battle for justice, the lives of others benefits from examining the shades of gray behind actual historical processes. The Battle of Algiers The Battle of Algiers is not a documentary but the unerringly realistic portrayal of a society riven by conflict has the feel of one. Director Roberto Rossellini shot the movie in chilling newsreel style. The technique reminds viewers that behind the sterile facade of the noose are living humans deserving of empathy. The actual Battle of Algiers was the climax of the Algerian War, a conflict fought by the French to maintain their colonial grip on the North African territory. The French considered the FLN guerrillas to be unconscionable terrorists. Therefore, the government in Paris was willing to forego the rule of law and human rights in the fight to suppress them. As the movie graphically shows, the French forces were more than ready to apply torture to break resistance. Meanwhile, the FLN fighters thought of themselves as warriors for freedom. As such, they felt justified in slaughtering French civilians as an act of political protest. The moral dilemmas highlighted by Rossellini have powerfully transcended 1958 Algiers. If anything, they became more relevant in post-9-11 America. However, the brilliance of the Battle of Algiers far surpasses any of the Hollywood War on Terror-related offerings. Dunkirk Military historians have long trumpeted the miracle of Dunkirk. After the fall of France in 1940, 
a large, primarily British Allied force was trapped in mainland France. Starting on May 27th and ending on June 4th, the Royal Navy led the evacuation of 338,226 soldiers to safety in the United Kingdom. The evacuation preserved the fighting capabilities of the Allies and provided them with the hope that they would yet return to the mainland. Mythology aside, what was it like for the people who participated in the Dunkirk evacuation? Director Christopher Nolan aimed to provide a realistic view of participants who experienced those hectic days. Therefore, the characters in the movie are not historical in the strictest sense. Instead, they are composites of real people. However, the true stars of the movie are the noise and chaos of war. Although the people in the film are not real, the situations and atmosphere are painstakingly recreated. Ultimately, the movie Dunkirk performs a fantastic feat. On the one hand, it depicts the gruesome and unromantic reality of war. Yet, it also shows the haunting moments of humanity and bravery that can only transpire under the moments of extreme duress. Monty Python's Life of Brian Most of the movies in this list take themselves very seriously, sometimes too seriously. Real history is human, chaotic, and sometimes downright ridiculous. The Monty Python classic Life of Brian recreates Roman-occupied Judea in all of its historical glory. Homesick Romans, quarreling Jews, traveling messianic prophets, and unscrupulous market hagglers are all depicted in their lovable and life-affirming glory. The movie tells the story of Brian, an everyday Judean who happens to be born in close proximity to Jesus Christ. The young hero enters into a group of rebels, the tiny and ineffectual people's front of Judea, in a bid to rid his homeland of the Romans. He then endures a series of ridiculous and hilarious misadventures before meeting his end by crucifixion. So, why is it on this list? Two major reasons. First, it manages to portray the spirit of the fractious and chaotic first century Judea more immediately and memorably than any history book. That is quite a significant achievement, considering that this strip of land produced some of the most important religious and political innovations in our history at this time. Second, it is quite possibly the funniest movie ever made. The film is entirely ahistorical and does not pretend to be anything but a rip-roaring comedy. Every history buff and every cinephile should watch the movies on this list. When it comes to facts, books and carefully researched documentaries are more reliable than entertaining movies. However, a well-made film has an unparalleled ability to bring the sights and sounds of the past to life. So we recommend you watch all of these evocative movies. And when you do, don't be surprised when you are born back ceaselessly into the past. We hope you enjoyed this video on the 10 movies all history buffs should watch. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, grab your free Mythology Bundle ebook while it's still available. The link is in the description.